When I first became a parent, everyone kept asking me what I wanted for my kids. And I kept saying, I just want them to be happy. And I've since then adjusted that and realized that um, they're not always gonna be happy. That's a very unrealistic expectation. But what I want for my kids more than anything is for them, when something goes wrong in their life, uh, for them to understand uh, there are things they can do to help themselves to get through uh, those challenging times. So we focus on gratitude, empathy, mindfulness, and also emotional literacy because the research says when you practice those things, it helps you to become more resilient. It's become part of our language throughout everything we do, not just a one hour a week work block, I suppose. So it's been valuable for our students, um, for our teachers, but it also, because it's a community um, approach to it all, our parents have that understanding, they have the language, they know exactly what it is we're doing within, within our school. So um, it puts everyone on the same page and it is really helping us look out for the wellbeing of our community, which has been fantastic. I think one of the really strong strengths of the program is that it's written by teachers for teachers. So we have a really good understanding of what the demands are in a classroom and at a school. So when we write the program, we sort of have two key aims in mind. Um, the first key aim that we always think about is student engagement. So we know that when students are engaged and happy, that's when the best learning happens and that's going to result in the best impact for our program. The other thing that we're always thinking about when we're developing a program is how do we make life as easy as possible for a teacher. So we know the demands that are on teachers and how difficult teaching is. So we're always thinking about what can we do to make these lessons really easy to implement, that anyone can pick them up. So even teachers that are not feeling really confident in the wellbeing space, these are so well um, scripted for teachers that anyone can deliver them. I think that GEM is really important because it's taught me many things. Gratitude has taught me to always think positive rather than negative in stressful or worrying situations. Empathy has taught me to think of others when they're stressed or worried and know when to just back off and give them some space. And that mindfulness has taught me lots of strategies and ways to calm myself down when I'm stressed or worried. Um, gratitude when I've like liked what I've been having and I don't focus on what I don't have. Um, empathy, when I see kids at school that don't have people to play with, I ask them if they want to play with us and if I'm playing football and I make a mistake, I don't go raging, I calm down and do some mindfulness with that. We are passionate about this and we have a belief from our past experience and the evidence the science from the programs from the University of Adelaide, the University of Melbourne, that the strategies work. It improves and lifts every part of your life in no matter what capacity and you take that skill set to many different places within your life, which I do, whether it's as a parent or in school or in the community or talking um, with parents as well who are parents here at the school. For me, it really has been gratitude. I have seen the kids come and they will say to me at the end of the lesson, thank you for teaching me, which I have not had that experience before. They're very grateful and mindful of the education that they're getting. I think that starting from prep is a really good way to get those conversations starting and happening um, before they get to the older years. And I think if we're doing it in every classroom across the whole school, then those same key messages are getting to every kid to, from every teacher and they will take that with them.